Welcome everyone today to Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, um, a game that I actually did not want to start playing through until tomorrow because the Assassin's Creed 3 DLC was supposed to come out today for PSN users, well PS3 players, but it was unexpectedly delayed and that's actually not very widely known now apparently, it's very hard to find that on Google. So in any event, I thought I might as well just, you know, start playing this game today. Um, now, here's a few things to note. I probably will not be able to play this game at all tomorrow. Um, so, you're, there's going to be some footage from today going up tomorrow. But tomorrow, I'm going to be busy. And then the day after that, I'm going to be entirely busy the full day. So, we're going to start this game today. Obviously, we'll come back to it on Thursday evening. Uh, maybe even tomorrow if there's some time. Because there's other games I need to play. And I need to have this game done. So... Yeah, look, there's a whole bunch of other beat-em-ups. So basically, for those of you who don't know the history about this game right now, um, Metal Gear Rising is actually more a departure from the stealth-based gameplay that Metal Gear is known for, instead of for a more uh, action, Devil May Cry style of game. So let's just jump right into it. Let's uh, let's see what, um, who made it? Platinum Games and uh, Kojima Productions have worked up for us this time. Nice glitchy screen. Ooh, a 7 megabyte update. Usually it's only a 3 megabyte. See what they've done. I remember playing the demo. The demo was pretty good, but my controller is broken. <laughs> okay, that's going to suck. I'm not paying 40 bucks for a controller. Konami. Kojima. And Platinum Games, who also made Bayonetta and a bunch of other beat-em-ups. Oh, and the Havoc Physics Engine. Cryware. Dolby Digital. The Double Ds. And look who it is, ladies and gentlemen. Metal Gear Rising! Revengeance! Okay, so let's begin this game, shall we? Why not? Uh, right in on the front cover now obviously we probably all all of us know the uh, the story behind this game's development uh, let's pick the middle we probably all know the story behind this game's development to be completely honest so I'm not, I don't think I need to go over it now I'll go over it in the verdict but I'm not gonna go over it now all right, so let's look at options uh, where are my subtitles where are they where are they juicy subtitles oh they're they're not here Oh, here we go. Captions. Well, they're automatically on, so that's cool. Um, I remember changing this to Part B in the campaign, right? Yeah, I did, so I'll leave it at Part B. Other than that, it's pretty much identical. All I did is switch the sticks. So I'm going to leave it at B. Okay. A very interesting... Uh main menu that we have version one see look they even tell you the version for a single player game typically they don't do that and yes we will start a new game on normal do we need to play the tutorial uh why not might as well mess around in the tutorial which was also part of the uh the demo that i got for buying zone of the enders hd right tutorial mission one Let's begin with a quick warm-up. Is there a doctor? Check the Soliton radar on the upper right and head to the point marked on the display. You All can right. jump over obstacles, but the ninja run will get the you across the more quickly and easily. The doctor tells me about the ninja run. All right, A is jump, obviously. Holding right trigger creates ninja run. Because, yes, in a stealth <laughs> franchise, it's all about uh, it's all about action with ninjas. You can also attack while in motion with a ninja run, you know, swinging your blade while dashing, for example, all or right. striking your foes with a sliding attack. That I will do. Ninja run. Why is a slide? Oh shit! Fuck them up. These cardboard cutouts. Hope, oh, oh. hope. Wait, wait, where are these boxes? Oh, you just hit him. Do I have to mess up this guy? Oh, that's just a normal attack. Oh, look. He's not messed up yet. Yet. Yet's the key word there. 
yet. Woo! Slash my elbow, put my carbon fiber blade away. Very easy tutorial. Who's this? Is that a stun baton or a butcher's cleaver? Now then, let's run a basic battle diagnostic. Try All right, basic all combat. Hey, look, it's the return of the Tegits. Instead of saying the word target, they show Tegit. These guys are just spawning in. Blade mode. Damn, he's dead already. Oh, he's out of range. They don't do the slow motion. Oh, I guess they haven't taught me about that yet, which is why. I want to do that slow motion. That was funny as hell in the demo. Combat is not all offense, however. You also need to protect yourself. First, follow the direction of the enemy's attack. Parry those attacks by executing light attacks of your own in the same direction. Okay. This is how you parry. It is the key. No block in this defense. game or dodge. It's all parry. I fight for blade to parry. Well, he didn't even get to parry at all. He's got messed up. So good. What a nice parry tutorial. I don't know how to parry. Pulls in as close as possible and parry their blows to leave them exposed to counterattack. From your perspective, it will appear as if the enemy is frozen in time or at least moving very slowly. This is the perfect opportunity for you to carefully aim your strike. Then slice your foe apart. He's in blade mode. Keep in mind, even you will not be able to parry every type of attack. Watch your foe's movements carefully. All right, so just some some attacks you gotta get out of the way for. <laughs> He's dead. He explodes into a bloody mess. Metal Gear has never been so gruesome. All right, I guess that's it. It's time to start the story. In the aftermath of Metal Gear Solid 4, which was supposed to be the end of the franchise, three years. they decided to keep milking it. We've come so far in just three short years. The sign of a strong leader, sir. No. Yes, Malcolm X, the sign of a strong leader. People. Morgan Freeman and Malcolm X now rule this country. Hey, you stupid kids! And one trying to read the paper. Advisor. Thank you, sir. Your team deserves credit as well, Mr. Lightning Bolt. Just doing our job, Mr. Prime Minister. I must admit, I once thought of groups like yours as opportunists. Enablers of war. But you've trained our new army well. Order has returned sooner than expected. So I keep Perhaps moving. I was wrong about these private military companies. We prefer private security providers, sir. Most of Maverick's contracts do focus on security. Yes, well, the security can mean many things. Oh, you mean like an armored escort? Down the streets, your supposedly safe a community. Like. One sword keeps another in the sheath. Sometimes the threat of violence alone is a deterrent. Oh boy. Sometimes by taking a life, others can be preserved. Metal Gear and that word deterrence. It's the code the samurai lived by. Hmm. A soldier and a philosopher. You are full of surprises, Mr. Lightning Bolt. I could say the same about you, Mr. Prime Minister. Shouldn't you be talking about penguins, Mr. Prime Minister? What is happening? Someone's blocking the lead vehicle. Hold on. Who is it? Clear the road! This is official state business! Who is it? Some drunkard. Or maybe not. Maybe it's a pretty serious threat. You should probably start shooting. Be like now. I said clear the road. We're authorized to use force if you do. Oh shit. Missing every shot, of course. Oh yes. 
sliced him in fucking half. Oh, God. Okay. So then, I didn't know I was playing Red Steel again. Hop, 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 hop. Alright, let us escape in our 1980s Volvo. What is it? Chris Redfield? It looks like uh, Dan from Street Fighter. One of our competitors? What is happening? We got hit, sir. A cyborg. The cyborg is slaughtering all the soldiers. Exit comes up unaffiliated. I'll notify all checkpoints. Get the money out of there. Hey, it's an iPad. Oh, fuck. Sweet. Oh, hey, more cyborgs. Slicing throats, brutalizing everyone, blockading the streets. We're stuck here now. This Volvo ain't going far. Stay calm. Blockaded that, too. It's obviously a setup. Well executed setup. Try right, ram that shit. He's got friends on our twelve. Right him. I'm on it. Guard the prime minister. <laughs> oh shit! Smash the ground when I step out. Yes, I am all machine. That box. Let's do it. Oh, that was completely necessary. So now I can't get back to help them if they need it. Let's get this over with. Ooh, the solid eye, or whatever it was called. He has one too. I'm on alert. Brutalize them. Ah, oh, shit. You'll need to choose between light and heavy strikes to match the situation. Take self repair units from your Good. phone. He's to dead too. Where's your the other guy? Asshole, I got two hits on me. Oh, he's dead? Awesome. The limo is in trouble. Get back there. Hey, it's my good friend Boris. I'll add the limo to your solid down radar. Boris, comrade, where is the limo? Shit, more guys. The great stealth franchise. What a great game that pays homage to the Metal Gear roots. Oh, he died. It's on the other side of that barricade. All right, so I gotta hop it. There's no move that lets me drop to the ground really fast. Shit, that missed. What the fuck? <laughs> I have no clue what I'm doing. I'm trying to do some basic combos like three X's and a Y. Well, that killed them. That every single hack and slash game seems to have three X's and a Y. Do I just hop this and see who's wanting it? Oh, there you go. Oh, I already did cut it. That was my first instinct. What the? Oh, he must be a cyborg too. The guy driving the limo. Oh, look! Look what it is! It's Lugia! Everyone's favorite robotic Pokemon! Well, they're screwed. It's gonna eviscerate them. Yeah, like you were gonna block that. It cleaved the building in two! Oh 
shit. Well, there goes freaking 